Hello all, Project Wargaming here with a painting tutorial on how to paint uh, the two millimeter Confederates that I have been uh, working on and modeling. So they should be on the website pretty soon, uh, if not already, and uh, available for purchase. But um, anyways, I am going to, this is how I've been basing them up. This is a smaller base. I'm actually using a larger base uh, for, for most of my miniatures now. But, um, but yeah. So this is uh, how I do this. So uh, very simple. I do use a number of paints just to try to give you some variation. Uh, a darker gray, a lighter gray, uh, just your simple uh, English brown, I think. Um, lighter blue for pants. Um, pink for skin tone. And then a, a darker brown for some of the hats. And then I have red, white, and blue um, as well with some gold and some silver and then a really dark brown for the base itself. And then I'm gonna wash it with uh, Agrax Earth Shade, uh, or you could do a um, nut brown as well. So anyways, uh, here we go. So I'm gonna try to do this as best I can. Um, so uh, first thing I'm going to start with is a gray. And I'm gonna come in and actually just hit a number of these things but I'm not going to worry about hitting an individual figure at all um, unlike some of the other models that I've done in two millimeter um, for ancients and things like that I uh, I'm not gonna worry about painting individual figures so much as uh, getting the feel so i'm going to try to get some gray on there to um, make these guys look like they have a mix of uniforms on themselves so i will go in and hit a little bit more of these individually at a later date but uh or a later later time but um right now i'm just getting uh some general colors on them so the other thing I then come in and do is start hitting some of the pants uh, just to mix it up a bit. Put some blue in there. You can see that I am painting this with some of the um, paint still wet and so it muddles up a little bit of the paint. I, I'm not really that concerned about that. I'm trying to make these guys look different and a big motley crew of rebels so come in and just try to hit underneath and hit the pants off screen there but you get the idea um you can also see that i do paint these um with them still on the platforms and the supports i just find it easier to uh, handle the models that way um the next thing i'm going to do i found is um the skin so these guys have uh broad brim hats on so i just go in underneath the broad brim hats and uh, try to hit the skin. Sometimes I do great at this, sometimes I don't do very well at this. I'm using a pretty thin brush. I think it's a three out brush. The reason that I do the skin here is so that when I go in and hit it, um, hit the, the uh, caps and stuff, then I can easily fix some of the mistakes I had. Um, and then on these guys, since they're carrying guns, I do actually try to just hit a hand there, just to give the idea of a hand. Uh, drummer boy here.
All right. So then the next thing, I don't worry about the, uh, the second line. I don't worry about painting the uh, flesh on them. So now I'm going to go in and actually start hitting uh, some of these hats. And again, painting some of them different colors and mixing it up. Giving them a little bit more of a motley crew look. Some of these models have kepis on, some of these models have flat caps. So again, it's just kind of a mix. Uh, I think I'm gonna go in and try to paint just a little bit of brown on a couple pair of these pants as well. All right, so. Uh, next, I'm going to take a darker gray, and I'm going to use that on a couple of these hats as well. And then the same thing with the uh, blue. I'm going to just hit a couple pairs of pants here all right so looking pretty good there um, I do have a drummer boy up front so I'm gonna try to hit that drum give it a red All right, so now I'm going to come in with the brown again. Well, actually, I'm going to use a darker, kind of a reddish brown and hit just a couple caps there with that. No. Now I'm going to go in and actually try to uh, paint the gun barrels. A lot of times all I'm doing is really just hitting the top of them. I'm not necessarily worrying about trying to go down the body. But every once in a while I will. Sometimes by mistake. Can't get tied up on the details on two millimeter. You're just trying to paint them fast. Uh, the back row is a little bit easier to see for me, so I'm just gonna hit hit them. And then I do like to flip them over and at least hit the back of the guns as well, or rifles. All right, uh, let's see. Not looking too bad. This guy here looks a, just a little bit too messy for me. Clean it up just a little bit. All right, um, next I will go in with a silver and I'm just gonna try to hit the tips of the rifles to make it look like they got their bayonets on or you can see the uh, rifle barrels glistening in the sun. Now, sometimes when I do that, I end up hitting some of the caps. So I do feel like every once in a while I'll need to go back in and just hit some of those caps just to dull them back down so they're not 
shiny and silver. Use again some different colors to dull them back down. All right. So that's really it as far as painting of the troops go. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do or, uh, will be to just simply paint the flags. All I do, since they're Confederates, just put a white X on each side. You can, of course, paint your flags however you like. And in whatever style you want. Next, I go in with uh, just a little line of blue. Again, I am not that concerned about getting it dead in the middle of that white. I'm just trying to give a good picture from tabletop. All right. Um, one thing I forgot to hit here was the pole that the flag is being held on. So just hit that with a little bit of a brown. And that is it. Now, a um, couple other items you I like to make sure that I hit. I have three officers on this, and they have their swords held out as if they were giving a command to march. So make sure to hit those. And then the same thing with those officers, I go in and try to hit their heads with just a little bit of gold. Just to make that pop out just a little bit and hit the flagpole top as well. That is basically it as far as the details go. Now, as far as washing the troops, I use a really heavy wash on these guys. Um, so I make sure to get plenty of wash in the middle. That way that that area is nice and dark. You don't have to worry about not being able to get in there and paint any details or anything like that inside of those. Drag the brush around the front and then drag the brush around the back. On most of these Confederate models, there is actually um, even some bed rolls and things like that. So if you wanted to go crazy, you could actually get down and and paint bed rolls on these guys. I'm not really going to be worrying about that. All right, so um, nice and dark. The final um, thing I'm going to do really is give the base a nice dark um, paint job. Use a little bit bigger brush for this. And I'm just going to come in and while the wash is still wet, it's going to allow it to thin out a bit and kind of mix in and give it a nice good cover. All right, so that is it. That's all I do for my two millimeter uh, Civil War troops, or at least the Confederates. Um, I think that's good enough since I'm gonna paint a bunch of them up 
and it gets the job done. And certainly from three feet away, it looks just fine. So that's how I paint them. I'm sure someone else could uh, do a better job with these and they are welcome to buy them and try them. So that's how I paint it. So I hope that helps. We'll talk to you later.